Blessings, soul travelers, and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. It is Priestess Belisse here. Good to see you. We are going to get into a reading from our Goddess Guidance Oracle cards today to reinvert you. These are some wonderful cards to give us some great messages for this beautiful Saturday. How are you feeling out there today? Yes, let's get it going. We are now officially moving into that spring energy. It is almost the spring equinox as I'm doing this reading. So always keep in mind these readings are timeless and you can always come back, of course, too, which I would recommend, especially if you um, are feeling the reading or it's you know, resonating with you and review the messages, you know, and see what has transpired as a result, you know, from when the message came out and then, you know, let a week pass by or something like that and then see what happens after that. All right, so then we'll get some psychic tarot on the scene and see what is going on with a Celtic cross for us, clarifying with the vice versa tarot and of course getting some advice from our crazy sexy love message cards and do stick around for the lover's oracle messages at the end. Here we are and oh just so you know guys when I do the elemental sign readings this week I will go into individual sign readings so like within air I'll do um, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, and Libra individually all right just to get a quick reading around each one of those after I get the main oracle message out. Okay so let's do it. Blessings. Thank you so much, Great Spirit, for joining us here today, for being so kind to give us the messages that are most needed. We honor you. And take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths. Relax. Feels good to relax, doesn't it? Just to take some nice, slow, deep breaths. Let your whole body just relax. Don't even think about anything for a moment. You know, that really does feel good sometimes to do, even if it doesn't necessarily solve the problem. And it does help us to actually be able to, you know, as we practice with that, to be able to come to our solutions a lot quicker. You know what I mean? So start practicing with it today. What's the worst that could happen by slowing down and taking a time out, right? All right, let's see what's coming out for our messages for today for the collective from the goddess. Thank you, goddess. Show us what we need to know. What is our main message today? All right, here we go. Ooh, Aphrodite. I was feeling this energy because this is a beautiful time of the year, and hopefully you're tapping into this energy too, where maybe you are feeling good about yourself. Maybe you have been putting your goals into place and your weight is in the right place and you're ready to put that bathing suit on for the uh, pool or for the beach, wherever you may be going, you know, even a special place out because this looks like a, you know, a little elaborate. But if you're going out to a nice dinner or something, I could even see. But all in all, I just see, I mean, even the spring energy with the flowers, with the dove, you know, it's just really feeling good about yourself. And if you're not feeling that way, this is definitely the energy you are being asked to step into Aphrodite and the inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. All right. This is how we start to really start tapping into everything that we want and seeing everything growing in our life. How does that start first? Well, it's nurturing ourselves. You know, dancing is one of those ways, just like slowing down, taking those deep breaths, right? Like I do each time we do the readings. For one, that's breaking up the dark energies. And, you know, we know that as spiritual workers, you want to do that before you go into any kind of readings and, you know, rituals, whatever, uh, tap in spirit. And then this also is an opportunity for us to give thanks to those energies, those divine energies that are supporting us to receive the messages we need. This is a, always a great message about self-care, self-love, things of that nature. You always have to take care of yourself first. And you want to feel in this energy when you step out into the world, when you go out there to, you know, represent yourself if you will and make things happen and you know how people see you how you show up is very important right i would love to be seen in this energy i hope i'm seen in this energy all right it says 
A message from Aphrodite, allow your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner femininity that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to become aware and take excellent care of and celebrate your magnificence, right? Beautiful time of the year to do that with spring in play. So various meanings of this card says balance your male energy with more female energy. So be kinder, softer, gentler, you know, that kind of thing. But you can still be a man, you know, and you can still be a woman and not be taken advantage of or run over as well. Take steps to heal your sexuality, yes, because whenever we feel shame, you know, because of um, perhaps past uh, sexual trauma, whether that be, you know, being in a relationship where, um, you know, men didn't respect when we said, no, I don't feel like having sex now, even just something as simple as that. And maybe they didn't all out rape you, but they didn't respect your boundaries either. Six, six was just on the clock there. There wasn't that balance. There wasn't that, you know, um, when they looked at you, you didn't feel like you were an equal to them. You know, they, they didn't see you as an equal. And this is your time, you know, re regardless of if you're with someone or not, you can always see yourself and represent your yourself as that beautiful goddess that you truly are male or female it says enjoy being feminine dance more often oh yes if any of you out there like to dance you know exactly all about this it does release endorphins all exercise does but dance especially really helps you to feel beautiful because especially by yourself you don't have to care about how you dance who sees you or anything like that right just be yourself love yourself maybe learn how to dance a little better by doing it in a mirror if you really want to maybe go out to uh, a place I, I got this energy with this dress up card maybe you're going to a place where you need to know how to dance so take some lessons you know be receptive in relationships allow your softer side to come forward right be who you truly are you don't have to hide your you know vulnerable side or your goddess side your feminine side you know those people who don't understand you or respect you you just make the decision not to be around them do not hide your femininity like we just said dress in a more feminine way for example more or less you know take care in the way that you look when you go outside of the house especially you know what i mean or get on camera if you're one of those type of people um always care about how you look and how you represent your yourself. It's not about keeping up with the Joneses, blah, 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 so to speak. This is about you, how you see yourself, how you feel about yourself, and you want to always feel good about yourself. And if nothing else, make yourself look good. And you'll start to feel that way eventually. 8-8. Eight, eight. All right. So about Aphrodite, it says, no, we're not going to read this part. We're going to go ahead and get into the rest of our reading. But I think you've got the energy of this card that we need today. Very beautiful. This is definitely the time of the year with the spring energy in play for us to be more concerned about, you know, how we are feeling. We talked about yesterday in our reading the causal seeds. Those are the energetic seeds. What are those seeds that you're planting for this full moon, right? You want to feel good going into to this time frame you want to focus on that self-care all right if you're not doing good focus on your mental emotional space and all of that heal sexual trauma and wounds and things like that or how you see yourself you know um because how you're speaking to yourself what you're saying to yourself i'm beautiful i'm worthy i'm loved and lovable all those things you have to say those things to yourself all right and you have to believe those things yourself or you're not going to draw that type of person to you that is truly going to respect you as the goddess that you are right so start speaking good to yourself take care of yourself love yourself Wow, because this may be the energy that we have crossing us today because this is on the bottom of the deck, foundations and achievements in reverse. That is definitely not where we want our energy to be, right? We want that rainbow to be crossing over us in that upright way, meaning that it's the bridge, right? 
we need to cross the bridges that will allow us to get to our foundation, that will allow us to have all the successes that we really want to see in our life. You're tired of waiting, right? I feel many of us are. We're tired of waiting to see our dreams come true, feeling like it's so far away from us, right? This is where we're feeling today, that everything that we really want is not really in line where it needs to be. Like it feels like it's not the right time for it yet. But I feel like Spirit is saying that you may just be deceiving yourself and maybe not really looking at the bigger picture about what needs to be done here today. At least that's what I'm feeling coming out here. You know, don't be looking at other people and being envious, perhaps, of, you know, seeing that they're... Um, you know, coming into their goodness or abundance or whatever. This is a time for us to, you know, heal from any past hurts and traumas once again. Because when I look at this card always, especially in the upright, and this is what I do feel that many of you are trying to do, but her hands are down by her sacral chakra, right? And they're pointing down. And that energy that is being focused on, it's a broken heart, right at that sacral chakra energy. It's not even at the heart, it's at the sacral chakra. So it's like a broken spirit almost. And this is what I feel like many of us have been working to heal, right? And to feel good again, from, to feel like ourselves again, right? But it's the self-love that's really going to allow us to be able to move through that. Positive movement forward. This is in the headspace today. You know, what we're thinking, what we're feeling. Maybe we're not feeling like we're moving forward in our life, like things are stagnant. Maybe we're not seeing the sun or feeling like, you know, um, our good is going to come through. Looking at other people and seeing what has been accomplished for them or what they're doing. But the truth is, yours is coming. It's just not going to look like everything else, everybody else's stuff, right? And if you're looking at it to be that way, or if there's a certain standard that you're looking at, perhaps it, the truth is, is that you need to see things from a different perspective. Look at it from the lens of your own life and what's most important for you. Moving on from something today is the situation that's happening. And I feel like this moving on, I mean, they're moving towards that light away from the darkness, right? This is seeing your worth. And that is that six card too that came out today when we were talking about six, six, when I was reading the card. Balance, right? Moving forward, understanding your worth is going to bring so much balance today. And maybe this is something that's been hard for you to do, right? But this is something that is going to bring you so much more. Take you out of that mental prison that you've been in, perhaps in regards to people around you. And I feel like that this moving forward, moving away from this being trapped in fear situation, right? Because this is what I feel with this being an eight card too. With the trapped in fear, it's an eight, like the eight of swords, right? And this would be that um, eight of cups energy. So not moving forward, not, you know, walking away from those things that we need to, moving on. But I feel like you are moving on, that the seasons are changing as you see the leaves, the colors of the leaves changing in that um, picture. So it's like what's dead is gone, right? Kind of energy is what that feels like. And it's like you understand that what you're moving towards is going to bring more growth and prosperity. Whereas maybe, you know, that was really putting you in a situation where you were like, not really willing to accept that for a little bit of time. But now you're very clear that you don't want to be in that energy where you have to feel that way about where you're at or who you're with or that kind of thing, right? Hopes, wishes, and fears, you know, yeah, that we want to celebrate. We don't want to continue to have these, you know, situations that we're dealing with where we're constantly, again, in this energy, right? We, w we don't want to deal with that anymore is what I'm getting from all of this. Yeah, you're definitely getting something, a download, an intuition, something that you're seeing today, which is going to help you to see that perhaps, you know, everything that looks like so good for everybody else, maybe in truth, you know, they're going through their own stuff just like you are. So the best thing that we can all do, quite honestly, is to look at our situation from that perspective where we feel the best about ourselves and we heal from all of our situations, especially that sexual trauma energy, right? 
no more heartache and loss or no more feeling like we have lost out or that, you know, our good isn't coming to us. On the top, triumph. Yeah, that's beautiful to see. I really feel this um, sacral energy here with this freedom with the horse waving the flag, your flag of freedom. Wow, I love that energy. Let's get the vice versa tarot on this today and clarify a little bit to see what is coming out for these cards. But overall, it's about feeling good about yourself and knowing regardless of what happens, who walks away from you, what situation doesn't work out, you still can be awesome and have wonderful in your life. You know what I mean? You are not limited, if you will. The only thing that limits you, quite honestly, is you. Make a choice not to be limited today and to just make a plan, if you will, to move forward. Conspire with the Most High with that Crown Chakra card and get the downloads that are most needed for you. The waiting game in reverse for Aphrodite. The waiting game in reverse, yeah. So holding back and not moving forward and doing what you need to do, this has definitely had an effect on, you know, your stability, your worth, self-worth. This is the Ten of Pentacles, but in reverse. It's I always see this as kind of like a begging energy because the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, you're in the seat of power. You're not like asking you know, you're not feeling like that beggar type of energy, if you will. And that is the energy that you essentially, I feel like, are in when you're in that waiting energy. But by not choosing that energy, it's saying, you know, this is going to help you to regain that clarity and that worth within yourself, right? This is not the person that gives you everything that you need. You are in spirit you know, combined with spirit, connecting with spirit, and being empowered by spirit, not any other human on this earth, if you will. Deception and envy in root chakra energy. Yep, absolutely. Don't look at perhaps what someone else seems to have. I got this energy of like for the person that moved on perhaps and maybe left you in this situation of having to deal with your emotions and things like that. You, maybe perhaps you were looking at this person and seeing that it seemed like that they were, you know, do, doing so much better. But in reality, maybe they were not with this nine of pentacles energy in reverse and certainly with this energy too if you're looking at other people as if they're you know doing better than you and you're envious of them or you know you don't feel like it's fair that kind of energy that's only going to hold back your blessings from you all you need to do is tap into your own inner beauty and what is specifically meant for you right and start moving towards that the truth of who you are, right? And not connecting with these energies that are not like you, if you will, or only bring these energies of negativity to your life. Heartache and loss. All right, so we have the Empress and we have, this would be the Seven of Pentacles. So maybe this was, you know, leaving us this past energy and this energy of having to see that we weren't able to build with this person. But what I do love seeing here is that we have the Empress in the upright, the star above with the healing. By choosing to heal yourself, to love yourself, to choose yourself, right? This is going to allow you to come back have a comeback into that Empress energy, into that Aphrodite energy, right? This is exactly what we're talking about. So whatever choice you made in the past to heal, this is absolutely helping you. This is absolutely going to help you to have more of that growth in your pinnacle department and in every aspect of your life. So positive movement forward in the reverse. This is all about a decision that you need to make. You can absolutely get going, sailing in the right direction anytime you choose to calm those stormy waters, right? And this could be the time to do it during this full moon energy too with this coming out right now. We didn't see that here, but see when the storms are there, you can't see what you need to see, right? And you can't see your way moving forward. So let's make the decisions that we need to make today and see the truth that we need to see, right? All right, what is coming out with truth today for this reading? 
absolutely. We need to see where we were not happy, where we could not grow, where we could not build, where those cups were spilled over. Look at this. It's like a, a, a town in turmoil or something like that. And you're the giant. You're the one that they're like, hey, you have all the power, help us. And you're just like, this is four cups. This is totally just like uninterested, unhappy with what's being presented towards you. So the truth is, is you need to look at a different way, a different path, a different option, if you will, a different love cup if you will because this is about love this is about cups this is about what brings you happiness right moving on for how we see the situation with aphrodite coming out is judgment this is an energy of you resurrecting yourself that is exactly what i see here today leaving behind walking away from whatever needs to be walked away from towards the light towards the higher spirits you know the angels you know your higher guides and what you consider that which drives you forward and gives you that assistance and allows you to see what you need to see right there because nothing is hidden in the light all right eight of swords trapped in fear in reverse for the outside energies and we had three coming out for today wow very powerful cards here today so we have the six of pentacles in reverse so definitely not wanting to put up with 21 12 there three three not wanting to put up with any more confusion right over who's giving to us and what they're giving to us and it being fair and all of that something that wasn't being illuminated, someone who had their walls up, someone who was being defensive, someone who wasn't letting us in, always having to be concerned about them, worried about them, not sure about them, right? And what about perhaps if there was someone in the background, right? This nine of swords energy, or sorry, nine of wands energy, but in reverse, perhaps not wanting to fight any longer, but can you trust them? Can you trust them? This looks like an energy of somebody who left you for dead. I always think of, if anybody knows um, Stone Temple, not Stone Temple Pilots, but, um, oh gosh, why am I not? It's right on the tip of my tongue, but Black Hole Sun, right? Somebody like left you for dead. The sun was eclipsed. It was like the worst day ever in your life left you in this energy, but you're determined with it in reverse not to deal with any of this kind of energy any longer. Someone who would actually watch you until you die, keep you trapped, you know what I mean? And not allow you to see the light of day, not allow you to be successful and run your own life, you know what I mean? That always wanted to give you only what they felt you deserved kind of energy. That was a lot of cards coming out for that today. Very interesting. All right. For the hopes, wishes, and fears, rejoice and celebration in reverse. Yep. Again, done with this Seven of Swords energy. Done with anybody who wants to try to come into the camp and try to, you know, burn it down and ruin your happiness and all of this kind of energy. This is what we want to avoid. Absolutely. Right? Crown Chakra. How can we do this today? by balancing it all out, by making those choices that we know are just and fair. Does it feel right in our heart? Does it feel light as a feather? If it doesn't, if it doesn't feel good, if something feels wrong about it, you need to investigate it or you need to get away from it is what Spirit is saying today. You need to be tapped into whatever feels good. And when you're loving yourself, when you're being an honest person and all of that, guess what? It's a natural protection for you because you'll be able to spot those things in other people. So there is a absolute benefit in doing and being good. So let's get some messages out today. Are you ready to step into that Aphrodite energy? First of all, let's get some flowers or a dove or something of that nature, a crown, a pre princess, you know, put that down in the comment section. If nothing else, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you get future videos. All right. So as I said, when I do the elemental readings coming up i am going to go this week try it and see how it goes with doing a little bit of a reading for each sign within the elements so for fire that would be um aries 
Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So we would do a little bit of a reading in each one of those for each one of your signs to get a more general or a more specific message, I should say, for each one of you. Here we go with our crazy, sexy love messages for the advice from Spirit moving forward for this message, stepping into the Aphrodite energy. Yes, we have... Embrace your sensitivity. There is nothing wrong with being beautiful. See all the roses and all of that? Listen, I am a nice person, but I will definitely stand up for myself. I am not a pushover. And this is exactly how we need to be. Not afraid to be our loving, beautiful, awesome selves, right? Embrace your sensitivity. So this card today says your sensitivity is the sacred gateway. Whoa. Sacred gateway dance, just like that dance produces those endorphins and beautiful energy. Your sensitivity is the sacred gateway to your intuition. So this is going to help you to see through any BS. This is going to help you to know what you're dealing with. So don't be afraid of tapping into your feminine side. It is it's that special receptive radar that picks up energy and signals. In fact, your sensitivity is one of your greatest assets and the key to your survival. And it's true. If you can pick up on energy, if you can pick up on, you know, if people feel off or wrong when you're in a situation or in an environment, no matter where it is, it can help you to have that subtle understanding or that nudge to get out of there or you know go a different direction whatever the case may be listen to that you're going to start tapping into that more is what i'm feeling like especially if you're tapping into this reading all right and it says the more you connect with it the more miracles and synchronicities you will attract so this not only is a protection right but it for your survival, once again, very important, but it's going to help you to feel good because you're going to know, you're going to start listening, right? And you're going to start seeing miracles, like things that you need to happen in your life. Anything from a open parking space at the front of the store to finding money on the ground to winning lotteries, who, whatever, things going right for you, right? And synchronicities, you will start to see things happening more for you in positive ways. I love that. Okay, so let's get Lover's Oracle energy out today to get a love message energy here. Um, this could definitely be you healing from a past situation, past hurts, you know, like I said, because again, in the past energy of this Celtic cross reading was heartache and loss, but in reverse. So you're definitely healing from that in that Empress energy and seeing where you can build your value today moving forward. And that is beautiful to see because the truth is you're done being unhappy. You're done being discontent, right? You're ready for things to be just and balanced and you're going to tap into spirit to get your answers because that is where you are going to get the best answers. Embrace your sensitivity. You are beautiful and you deserve to be happy and loved. Wow, we got soulmate energy coming out today for our lover's oracle card. That is beautiful energy to see. Almost like that sacral-like energy too, right? With that fiery energy coming off. But it's a beautiful energy that's mixed with other colors like pinks and things like that. Which shows, especially since they're not in that embrace, but actually looking at one another and things of that nature. I feel like whoever you may be connecting with right now, you're developing a deeper bond with your... Um, you're allowing yourselves to get to know one another at a friendship level and at a personal level where you actually, you know, really get to know that person and see them for who they are, how they handle situations in their lives. And, and this is all before sex is involved. Do you know what I mean? Because that gives you an opportunity to really suss out these kind of people, for instance, <laughs> right? Because we definitely don't want to get caught up and bound up in situations where people have walls up, where they're being the emperor and ruling over us or turning their backs on us after they are ruling over us, right? We don't want to deal with those kinds of energies where we're left for dead. 
So this is the kind of energy we want to deal with before we get too deep in with anybody, especially sacral energy deep, right? <laughs> Keep it at the mind and heart energy while you're figuring this all out before you allow anybody to get into your pants, so to speak. The soulmate energy card today says your soulmate is already with you in spirit, right? So think about and connect with the energy of who that person would be that person that you know that you would really want to connect with and have that deep connection with. And it says, believe this and they will manifest physically. So this is in the etherics right now. This is you connecting energetically with that perfect person you would like to be with, be in union with, whether you already are or whether you're bringing that person in, but what that looks like for you, what that connection looks like for you when you know you can look at them and you can see each other in each other's eyes, 30-30, and you honor and respect each other from a soul level. I love it, soulmate, beautiful. Thank you so much once again for joining me today, and I'll see you soon for another reading. Blessings and bye-bye for now.